Chuffs are the national bird for Cornwall, um, but very sadly, by 1973, they had completely disappeared. So between 1973 and 2001, there, there were a few records of chuffs passing through Cornwall, um, but none breeding at all. Then in 2001, during the foot and mouth outbreak, a few chuffs were being spotted on the south coast, and particularly around the lizard. Um, and so from 2001 to where we are now in 2017, the numbers have been slowly increasing. So it's a pretty amazing story. So Cornwall's national bird disappeared but has come back and they've come back naturally. Um, where did they come back from? We thought it might have been Brittany, but actually DNA testing um, has shown that they actually came from Ireland, which is really interesting. And since then, the rest, as they say, is, is Cornish history. My name is Claire Mucklow and my job role is the Species and Habitats Officer with the RSPB. Uh, my name is Justin Whitehouse and I'm the Countryside Manager for the Lizard and Penrose for the National Trust. My name is Jeremy Clithero, I'm a Lead Advisor for Natural England on the Lizard. I'm Rona Amis and me and my husband farm um, around Lizard Point, uh, Tregullis Farm. We're tenant farmers and tenants of the National Trust. So Chuff's a member of the Crow family, the Corvid family. Um, so they have an amazing glossy black plumage, but they have a really distinctive bill. So it's bright red. Um, apart from when they've been ferreting around in mud, but it's bright red um, and it's down curved. The males have a slightly longer bill than the female and they have this, these really um, amazing red legs. The Cornish name, the old Cornish name for chuff is Pylorus and that means digger. So they use this bill for digging in the soil for invertebrates. So when you see them, you can't really mistake them for any other member of the program. The reason they disappeared is because the habitat was lost. So our fundamental aim is to get that habitat back. That habitat supports so many other species alongside the chuff. And if we can get the habitat right and all those other species come back, the chuff will do well. And you know, and this is evidence that we're getting it right in some way because the chuffs have returned and they're doing really well. The National Trust work very closely with the RSPB. Uh, we're, we're part of the Cornish Chuff Project where we, we work in partnership, uh, we share volunteers, we share knowledge, we, share, we, we meet regularly and we work together with our local farmers and the neighbouring farmers to, to undertake wildlife friendly farming which is good for the chuff. The National Trust are, are both our landlords but we also work in partnership with them to try and deliver some of the conservation goals for the farm. A successful chuff population is dependent on having a successful um, food source and the food source is very reliant on particular cattle grazing and sheep to a lesser extent and so that the, it's really important that grazing is right um, so that chuffs get the maximum opportunity to be able to feed and then obviously successfully breed. So you will notice um, a lot of the chuffs that have been filmed have so these, um, these rings, which are unique identifiers to the birds. Um, so the colour rings are fitted to the chicks whilst they're in the nest, so at about three weeks old. And when they're three weeks old, you can, um, you can actually sex them so we know how many are males and females. Um, so the rings are on for um, all their life. It doesn't hurt them when the colour rings are applied. Um, but it means that we're able to follow the chuffs through their lives, and that's been really important. So we've been able to um, identify which bird um, pairs with which bird, how far they go. It, it's a crucial element of um, our monitoring work. We work in partnership with the RSPB and the National Trust here. Uh, the National Trust own this land and the RSPB help through the Chuff Conservation Group with their advice. And we work together on research projects, on targeting different areas of the farms for the right kind of environmental management that the Chuffs need. So it's very much a partnership 
and a key part of that is working with the National Trust's farming tenants who here are, are looking after the chuffs just as much as they are farming the land. The National Trust thinks the future for chuffs in Cornwall is promising. Natural England think the future of the trough in Cornwall is looking really positive. They're increasing in numbers year on year. They're such uh, an iconic species that people want to see them do well and will be part of that success story, I hope, well into the future.